Welcome to the Wargrove of Well, where today we're going to be covering the Terrors from the Deep, the Elidith Deepkin. First up we have the Namarti Thralls. These guys are your standard line infantry, and they're actually really interesting. Um, they have a 6 inch movement, 6 bravery, 1 wound and a 5 up save. Their melee profile is really good for our line infantry. They have a 1 inch reach, 2 attacks each, 3 for the leader, 3s and 3s to hit. 1 rend and 1 damage. Um, their unique abilities are pretty standard. 1 in 10 can have a standard, which lets them reroll failed battle shock. But here's, here's the kicker. Um, their weapons, if you target an enemy with wound characteristics of 1, so like other line infantry, each of your dudes gets another attack. Um, or if you're targeting something that has wound characteristics of 4 or more, so like large units or elite infantry or just kind of your heavier stuff on the enemy team they get an additional damage pip <clears throat> so this this gives them a really interesting dual purpose of anti-infantry and anti-large units which is not found anywhere else in the game if i have done my research correctly um, they're also good for screening and contesting objectives to maximize the efficientness of Namarti Thralls, I would take them in squads of 10, because their short range makes the makes larger units less efficient. Um, also keep them near an uh, Isharian Soul Render, because the Soul Render can bring Thralls back to life in the Battle Shock phase. So kind of keep them uh, topped up if they uh, get damaged, which they probably will because they don't have much in the way of defensive abilities. Next, the bulk of the Illidith Deepkin battle line is conditional, and most of it is eels, so I hope you like eels. Next, we have the Namarti Reavers. In order to take these guys, you need to have a Isharian uh, General. Um, they are basically a archer variant of the Namarti Thralls. They have a stat line of 8-inch move, 6 bravery, 1 wound, and a 4-up save. Their melee profile is fine. It's better than some line infantry. Um, they have one inch reach, two attacks, three for the leader, threes to hit, fours to wound, no rend, one damage. And they have two ranged profiles, the Whisper Bow Aimed Fire and the Whisper Bow Storm Fire. The only difference between these two is the Whisperbow aim fire has a longer reach, but only one shot. So kind of think of it as just like a, as the name says, an aimed shot where they're um, being a bit more careful. Or a storm fire, which has half the range at nine inches, but has three attacks each. So you're just kind of pelting arrows into the enemy. Um, they're, the stat lines are the same. Uh, four up to hit, four up to wound, uh, no rend and one damage. 1 in 10 can have a standard, which lets them reroll Battle Shock, and they can reroll Run Rolls. So they are a ranged variant of the Namarti Thralls. They're lightly armored ranger units that are best for hanging around the edges of the main battle force. If they're caught in melee, they'll do f okay, but that's not really where you'll want them. Um, they're fairly quick, but not quick enough to be a cavalry unit, and you have better options for cavalry you'll see in a second. For Namarti Reavers, I would take in squads of 10 to 20. There's no real downside to taking them in larger units, so if you really want a large blob of archers to just plink off a whole bunch of arrow shots into something, then go larger. And um, Additionally, similar to Namarti Thralls, a soul render can bring them back to life in the battle shock phase. Next up is the real meat of the Illidith Deepkin, the Achillean uh, Ishlayan Guard. In order to take these as battle line, you must have an Achillean General. They have a stat line of 14 inch move, 6 bravery, 4 wounds, and a 4 up save. They have 3 melee profiles, the Hell Saber, which is 1 inch reach, 3 attacks, 4 for the leader, 3's to hit, 3's to wound, no rend and 1 damage. The Fangmore's Fanged Maw, 1 inch reach, 3 attacks, 3's and 3's to hit and wound, no rend and d3 damage. The Fangmora's Lashing Tail, 2 inch reach, d3 attacks, 3s and 3s to uh, hit and wound, no rend and 1 damage. 
These guys can reroll failed battle shock as well as reroll charge rolls. Additionally, so these are your defensive eels. Um, you'll see in a second why they're so defensive. They ignore rand for all attacks that target this unit. And if the unit may, if this unit made a charge roll, they get a plus one to their save. So an unrendable four up save or an unrendable three up save if they charge is really powerful. And it's not an ethereal save like the Night Haunt. So you can modify this save with um, like Mystic Shields or other like abilities that would uh, increase their save. But if they charge, they already get that plus one and you cannot go above a plus one save. So for battlefield rolls, they are tied with the Morisar guard for the standout units of the Illidith Deepkin. They are tanky defensive eels and they are lightning fast heavy cavalry units. They are awesome for just tying up uh, really key uh, enemy units that you just don't want to do much because of their heavy saves they're just going to get stuck in there and be a real thorn in your enemy's side to maximize the efficientness of the Ishlane guard take in squads of three to six they're so good at defense that it doesn't really matter if they're in larger blobs because you're not using them for offensive purposes you're using them to soak damage or to be a really hard to shift unit. And so the the losing of ranged, or not ranged, excuse me, melee damage isn't all that important. Um, additionally, they can be buffed a fair amount by an Achillean King hero or Volturnus himself. Next up are the real terrors of the Illidith Deepkin, the... Um, Achillean Morsar Guard, and similar to the Ishlan Guard, you must have an Achillean General. They have the same stat line of 14 inch move, 6 bravery, and a 4 wounds and a 4 up save. They have the same uh, Fang Mora's Fanged Maw and Lashing Tail uh, weapon option, but they have Volt Spears, which are really strong, and you'll see why in a second. They have 2 inch reach, 2 attacks, 3 for the leader. Threes to hit and threes to wound, no rend and one damage. The fanged maw and the lashing tail are the same as previously stated. And they can reroll battle shock and reroll charge rolls. But here is what's really cool. So whenever this unit charges, they get a minus two rend and two damage for their bolts for their volt spears if they charge. So when they charge, they hit hard and they hit fast. Um, additionally, once per battle, this unit can zap an enemy unit, which basically means you roll a dice for each model in your Morsar guard, and each 3-up is a mortal wound, and each 6-up is D3 mortal wounds. So, a little extra once per game damage ability that you can use. Uh, these guys are probably the best unit available to uh, the Illidith Deepkin. If you look at a whole bunch of top lists, it's mostly going to be eels upon eels upon eels, just all Morsar guard. They are incredibly good. These are your damaging offensive eel variants, and they are lightning fast death cavalry units. To maximize the efficientness of them, take in squads of six to nine, because their longer reach bolt spears lets them retain their offensive capabilities in large blobs. Um, and just charge your enemies and rip and tear them to shreds. <clears throat> Similar to the um, the other eel variant, they can be buffed a whole lot by an Achillean King or Volturnus himself. So that was the Illidith Deepkin. If you are looking to make a really competitive army, I would look at Illidith Deepkin. They're really strong, especially just the oops all eels lists that you see at top tournaments. Um, if you have any... Um, Comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I have been the Wargrove of World, and I'll see you next time.